What is up, everybody, and welcome back to the meth review area. So, uh, a couple weeks ago, I reached out to a company on Instagram uh, called Alexander Industries. Um, and if any of you watch Nick Kumalatsos, then uh, you will know that uh, he happens to be either the owner or just heavily involved in Alexander Industries, which is a coffee company. Um, and so uh, I went ahead and just sent him a message and said, Hey, I drink for the most part. Black Rifle Coffee. I'm actually a member of their coffee club, but one of the things I've noticed about their coffee is that I don't know really where it's sourced or if it's ethically sourced, um, and they're just not uh, super transparent about it that I've been able to find. I enjoy their coffee quite a bit. Um, I, I also enjoy Starbucks coffee sometimes, that's the truth. So I just reached out to him and said, hey, you know, I, I drink this stuff, uh, but I know for a fact where your coffee beans come from because you did a whole uh, video on the journey um, of your coffee beans um, and, and how he came up with uh, Raiders Roast. Um, and so I got a I got a message back and said, yeah, we, we'd love to send you a sample. So as far as I know, um, all that is in this package is a sample, uh, but I just want to go ahead and uh, open this package up, see what we got, and then uh, I'll try out this, this coffee tomorrow and, and see uh, what we think of it. So uh, hold on one sec. All right, so inside the package was, uh, looks like a little sample size um, packet of uh, Raiders Roast Coffee um, by uh, A Coffee Company. Uh, a coffee co um, and uh, I'm really excited to give this a try it's supposed to have a really nice uh, buttery flavor I'll go ahead and um, link to the video uh, when uh, he released uh, Raiders Roast um, and I'm really excited to uh, get this in the pour over tomorrow morning and uh, catch my thoughts on it on film good morning everybody it's Saturday morning and it's time to give our Raiders Roast uh, a try and uh, let's go upstairs and make some tell by the smell this is gonna be some bomb coffee all right guys so here I am back with my impressions of Raiders roast from a coffee company and I'm gonna tell you straight up how it is this coffee is freaking awesome okay um, so as you watched in the video made this up in my um, Bodum pour over and uh, I thought it was delicious right um, so uh, they gave me enough to make basically two cups of coffee. Um, I had some, and my housemate Parker had some. You might remember him from the Ebb & Tech Knives Fail video. You can check that out. Um, but uh, yeah, we had this and uh, made it my pour over, you know, warm the cups up, pour it in, and I go to have my first sip, and I just sit in there, swallowed it, and I was like, whoa, like this tastes like brown sugar. And he had some, and he's like, man, you're right. And so we were drinking it, and uh, sure enough, after I finished the cup, I went ahead and looked it up the way that uh, Nick actually uh, describes the coffee on the video in which uh, he talked about roasting uh, Raiders Roast for the first time. Uh, he said it's uh, 
Pan or Panamanian high grown beans and roasted right in Eastern North Carolina with a buttery medium roast with a smooth brown sugar finish. And I swear you can pick that up immediately as soon as you drink this stuff. You taste the brown sugar. Um, and I, I just thought that was incredible. As some of you guys know, um, like, I, like I said earlier in the video, I am a Black Rifle Coffee Club uh, member. Um, and do I absolutely love it? Yeah. Like, I rep their stuff. Um, I've been to their headquarters in Salt Lake City, um, you know, their, their main store there, um, and I think it's incredible. Um, but, like I said, I was looking for something that kind of more aligned with um, craft coffee, where you know where your bean's coming from, um, and it has a very consistent flavor profile that they list on the site. Um, and that is exactly what Nick does through a coffee company. Um, I absolutely love this stuff. Probably going to place an order here in the next couple days for some of this, um, and I highly recommend you do too. Um, is there anything wrong with Black Rifle Coffee? No, and I know Nick would say he's certainly not competing with anybody. He's just doing his business the way he wants to, being his own best self, producing the best product he can. Um, and so, therefore, I'm not saying don't buy Black Rifle Coffee, because I'm still going to be a part of the coffee club, right? That, that's something that I enjoy. But um, as far as knowing where beans come from, knowing what flavor profile I'm going to get, uh, that's awesome. And Black, Black Rifle Coffee might not list that stuff just because their consumer might not want it, right? Like, their target market isn't concerned about flavor profile. They might be just more concerned with, like, the picture on the bag and does it have caffeine in it, right? And what roast is it? Light, medium, dark, super dark. That's all they worry about. But this, I want something where I can read a description of what it's going to taste like, and I can drink it, and it's going to be, boom, consistent right there. Um, I think this is knockout stellar coffee. Um, I would encourage you guys to go out, um, support his company. It, it's great coffee. Um, sad I hadn't tried it sooner. It's been out for like almost a year now. Um, but thanks for sending it out. Uh, thanks for answering in the DMs. Uh, I really wanted to make a video on this. Please support um, their website and their company. Um, I mean, American company, uh, great guy who runs it, um, and really uh, looking forward to drinking more of their coffee in the future. Um, please check us out on Instagram, uh, Twitter, um, check out our blog. Uh, I want to start doing more blogging, so um, that is definitely going to be linked down below as well. Um, and yeah, uh, support these American coffee companies. Um, heck, like I said, I drink Starbucks too sometimes, um, but people that are employing veterans, um, I think that's a, that's a valuable thing to do. Um, so please, go uh, support a coffee company, and Raiders Roast specifically. Uh, Black Rifle Coffee, they're doing a thing where you buy a bag and a veteran gets a bag, or somebody deployed gets a bag, um, which I think is an awesome promotion. They're not competing companies. Um, support them both. Uh, order back and forth. And as a matter of fact, I just checked something out, and particularly where I'm shipping to, um, I can get a bag of Raiders Roast shipped to me for $20.08, and that is with USPS First Class Package Delivery. Um, Black Rifle Coffee Company, if you're not a coffee club member, I can get Red, White, and Brew Roast, $14.99 a bag, shipped to me um, for $20.94 and that's economy shipping. If I bumped it up to standard ground, um, that'd be $9.99, $24.98 would be the total there. So for me, at least, check it out, Raiders Roast does come in less expensive if I'm ordering one bag at a time versus Black Rifle Coffee. And his shipping method is faster um, to me. He's all the way in the East Coast, and I believe their locations are in Salt Lake City, and Texas, which should be closer to Washington State than the East Coast, like over in North Carolina. So I'm not sure how Nick does it, but that's a super fair price, um, and I recommend you go check him out. So uh, thanks, guys, and I'll catch you next time.